Hey everyone, this is just a quick video to let you know that Synology put out a warning that there is a specific malware currently going on that could impact your Synology NAS. So it's called a Stealth Worker Botnet and it's targeting NAS devices and it's trying to brute force them. So at this point, Synology has said that they do not believe there are any vulnerabilities inside of DSM. However, there are certain things that you can do to protect yourself and we're just quickly going to take a look at what those are right now. So first off, this only impacts people at this point who are accessing their NAS from outside of their local network. So this is for people who port forwarded their DSM port on their NAS and they're accessing it from anywhere in the world. Now, there's a few ways that you can get around this and a few ways that you can fortify your current setup if you do have it set up this way. So the first thing would be to obviously remove that port forwarding. However, if you can't do that, what you can do is change the default port. So change the default port from 5001 to something different. It doesn't have to be anything in specific. It just has to be different than port 5001. Second, you have to ensure that your admin account is disabled. So inside of DSM, you can go through and you can create a user account and give that user account admin permissions, but then you're gonna go through and you have to disable the admin account. This is the account they're targeting when they're trying to brute force the password. Next, you have to ensure that you're using two-factor authentication. So you can easily set up two-factor authentication. I will leave a pop-up right now for a great video that Tech Me Out did on two-factor authentication. But set up two-factor authentication and that will ensure that, God forbid, they do brute force your password. They're still going to need an additional layer of authentication in order to access your account. And then finally, you can go into Synology's control panel and you can enable the auto block. I believe in DSM-7 this is enabled by default, but what it does is it blocks IP addresses if they try and authenticate in a specific period of time. So if they try and authenticate five times within a minute, say, and they're unsuccessful every time, it will automatically block their IP address. So I do want to mention that if you're strictly opening uh, the DSM port in order to access your NAS from outside of your local network, there are better ways to do it. I'll leave a pop-up now for OpenVPN. You can set it up on your NAS and it allows you to access through OpenVPN. It's much more secure. Um, I understand that there are certain people out there that need to have it set up this way, but there are also other ways that you can use your own domain name and you can use a reverse proxy, etc. So there are multiple ways that you can get around this but these are some of the easiest ways to try and protect yourself. If you right now have your NAS behind your firewall, meaning that the DSM port is not port forwarded, you should not impact anything at this point. You should be totally safe, um, at least from what Synology is saying right now. However, if you do expose your Synology NAS, then these are some steps that you can do to try and protect yourself. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.